This man played 88 times for his national team and scored 19 goals, even though he wasn't eligible to play for them. This is Tony Cascarino, a guy born in England to an English mother, Italian father and an Irish grandfather, and was also eligible for Scotland due to his ancestry. Or was he? In 1996, his mother told him that she was adopted and therefore Tony wasn't actually related to his Irish grandfather. This meant that despite playing for Ireland for 11 years at this point, he wasn't actually allowed to play for them. Confused yet? In the run-up to his debut against Switzerland in 1985, Cascarino submitted his documents for an Irish passport which was later denied, during which time he'd already played three times for Ireland so he never bothered to chase it. Eleven years later, a FIFA rule change meant that all players must be citizens of the country they play for. By this point, Cascarino had won 64 caps and scored 12 goals, so he phoned Andy Townsend for advice. Probably not the best person to ask for advice in this situation, as he was also an Ireland international born in England, and his advice was to keep it on the down low. So that's exactly what Cascarino did, and he resubmitted his application for an Irish passport in hope they'd just accept, and to his surprise they did, and two days later he played his 65th match and scored twice. But don't just take my word for it, Cascarino said all this himself in his book he released in 2000. Uh, not that one, sorry, that's uh, my book. That's the one. Where he also called himself a fraud and a fake Irishman. Some extracts from the book were published by the Sunday Mirror in late 2000, and four days after the newspaper article revealed this bizarre situation, the Irish FA came out and said he was always eligible to play for them, but this was probably just an excuse to save themselves any embarrassment from phony, uh, I mean Tony Cascarino. He might be known as a semi-professional poker player since retirement, and also for twatting his talk sport colleague Patrick Kinghorn, a bit like the time he tried to twat the entire Turkey team. Round one fight. But I hope you enjoyed this interesting story and maybe even got a laugh or two out of it, who knows. Anyways, see you later, alligators.